It's Friday the 26th of November and welcome to From the South. The body count has risen in Mexico. Authorities have exhumed 32 bodies and 9 heads from several clandestine graves in a southern state. Authorities say the state is plagued by kidnappings, murders and drug cartel turf wars. The remains were unearthed between Tuesday and Thursday in 17 pits. No arrests have yet been made. Colombian FARC guerrilla leader Rodrigo Timochenko Jimenez says that many rebels could die along the way as they look for a political solution for Colombia's conflict. This week, the group signed a peace deal with the government for the second time in three months. The deal was immediately sent to Congress, where it's expected to pass after being debated next week. Nicaragua suffered a hurricane and an offshore earthquake at the same time on Thursday. Hurricane Otto, a storm packing sustained winds of up to 175 kilometers and 7.0 magnitude quake, occurred in the Pacific Ocean. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega declared a national emergency to handle both potential disasters. However, there were no reports of any widespread destruction. Chinese President Xi Jinping has been promoting Asia-Pacific cooperation and China-Latin American relations. He has recently had state visits to Ecuador, Peru and Chile, attending a string of bilateral and multilateral meetings and activities. Xi highlighted a need for the promotion of trade and investment liberalization and facilitation, as well as opposition to protectionism of all forms. Observers believe China is positioning itself to be the new global leader. 32 people, including five children, were reported killed on Friday during airstrikes targeting Aleppo and its surroundings. An amateur video posted online showed a person being rescued in the rebel-held town of Takhad, west of Aleppo city. The government of President Bashar al-Assad has launched its most concerted effort yet to capture rebel-held territory. The initiative is backed by Russian air support, the Syrian army and allied Shiite militia from Iran, Lebanon and Iraq. 1,240 Chinese nationals have been arrested in the Philippines for running an illegal online gambling hub. Agents of the Fugitive Search Unit also confiscated computers. The raid occurred at an illegal online gambling center at the Fontana Leisure Park in Clark Freeport, a former US-run airbase north of Manila. President Rodrigo Duterte said he was willing to allow a resumption of online gambling if correct taxes are paid and gaming parlors are far from schools and churches. Uh, joint operation with the French authorities have arrested a group of seven suspected extremists. It is believed the group consisted of Islamic State supporters who were preparing an attack in the Paris area. The arrest occurred in police raids last weekend, following an eight-month investigation by security services. Items seized in a Strasbourg raid include written documents showing allegiance to ISIS. France has been under a state of emergency since January 2015. Russian President Vladimir Putin has presented a Russian passport to US actor Steven Seagal. The president said that he had hoped it would serve as a symbol of how the fractious ties between Moscow and Washington are starting to improve. Seagal is the latest Western celebrity to have been given a Russian passport in the past few years. And Putin has expressed hope that with the election of Donald Trump, Ties and relations will improve. Putin has praised Trump's personal qualities and the US president-elect has said he wants friendly ties. The black and orange monarch is the world's farthest migrating butterfly and it travels every November from Canada and the United States to the temperate forests of the states of Mexico to hibernate for five months. In light of this, Mexico's monarch butterfly biosphere reserve opened this week for tourist visits. The first butterflies were seen arriving at the reserve on November 2nd. More on these and other stories on our website, telesotv.net slash English.